In this video, we are going to go over setting up connectivity profiles on your Lumify ultrasound system. Connectivity profiles let you define a set of storage destinations, export strategies, exam settings, and connection settings. If, for instance, you want to automatically export images to a DICOM server as they are captured, and then auto-delete those exams after they are exported, this is where you would set that up. To access your connectivity profiles, open your Lumify menu and tap Connectivity Profiles. Initially, what you'll see is the default connectivity profile that comes pre-populated in your Lumify app. You can add a new profile, or you can adjust the settings within the default connectivity profile. Let's add a new profile. Tap the plus icon in the top right, and we'll just name it New Profile. Tap Continue. Now in the Connectivity Profile menu, you'll see that different connectivity profiles are listed on the top of the page in the form of tabs. To adjust the settings in your new profile, tap the name of your new profile. Let's go over your options. You can delete a profile by tapping the trash can icon. To activate and use this profile, tap the slider under Profile Management. Before switching connectivity profiles, you will need to first end an active exam. You'll know if the profile that you've chosen is active by the green check mark. The next section is where you'll set up the primary storage destination and, if applicable, your storage commitment, modality work list, and MPPS servers. So, in this case, I want to show what the DICOM settings will look like if you are exporting to a DICOM server. First, I choose my DICOM export destination. This gives me the option to select a storage commitment server for this profile. This option will be grayed out for other export destinations. If you have a storage commitment server already set up, tap where it says None. Your server will show up here. Otherwise, tap Add New to go through the process to set up a new server. This is where you will select an existing modality worklist server or set up a new one through a similar process as shown before. Similarly, if you have an existing modality performed procedure step server or MPPS server, add that server by tapping where it says None and tap Add New to walk through the process to set up a new one. The next section is where you set your export strategy. You can choose to not have images automatically exported. You can choose to export the images as they are acquired or you can set it up to automatically export images upon exam completion, or once you've ended your exam. The exam settings section just below allows you to set the amount of time you want to pass before the system automatically ends an open exam. For instance, if you haven't actively tapped the end exam option, the Lumify system will automatically end the exam after the amount of time shown. If you have a DICOM storage commitment server activated for this profile, you will also have the option to automatically delete the exams after the images have been sent and successfully committed to your chosen storage location. At the very bottom in the Inbound Connection settings, you can do the following. Scan for a specific inbound port by tapping the Listen for Inbound Connections on Port field, just type a valid port higher than 1024, and then touch Save. View the interface and IP address of your device's current inbound connections. Once you are finished setting up your new connectivity profile, tap Save at the bottom of the screen. Now you can go in and set up other connectivity profiles in your Philips Lumify to cover all of your exporting needs.